The popsicle was invented on accident by an 11-year-old boy named Frank Epperson in 1905. Epperson was mixing powdered soda pop and water on his front porch and accidentally left the mixture on the porch overnight. The next morning, he discovered the mixture frozen around its stirring stick. He pulled out the frozen mass and quickly discovered that he had created a new kind of treat. He called it the Epperson Icicle. The summer following his discovery, Epperson made his frozen treats and sold them around his neighborhood for around five cents a piece. He shortened the name to Epsicle. In 1924, when he was 30 years old, Epperson renamed his discovery to be Popsicle to show that they were made from soda pop. He then got his treats patented. The first ice cream truck driver was a man in Nebraska who went around selling Popsicle ice pops to children in a horse-drawn cart. Twin ice pops were invented during the Great Depression so that two children could share an ice pop for only a nickel, which is five cents. Did you know that popsicle sticks are made from birch wood? Today, there are more than two billion popsicles sold every single year. It's funny that it started as an accident on a young boy's front porch. Today, the most popular popsicle flavor is cherry. What's your favorite popsicle flavor? Well, it's time for summertime and we all know that summertime calls for sweet treats. And so today we're going to create this adorable popsicle with some personality. And for you to be successful, the basic materials you need are white piece of paper, a pencil, and some crayons. Get your things and meet me back here so we can make our popsicle. All right, we're gonna start with our pencil and we are going to draw the baseline or the outline of our popsicle today. And we don't wanna make our popsicle teeny, teeny, tiny. We wanna make our popsicle large and we're also gonna make it look like it has a bite being taken out of it. We are going to start today with the bottom of our popsicle. And so I want you all to touch the middle of your paper and you'll notice my paper is going up and down. So I'm going to touch the center of my paper and then I'm going to go down to about right here. This is the very bottom of my paper. So I'm going to go right about here and I'm going to make a little dot right here. So I know that's where I am going to make the bottom of my popsicle. I'm not going to worry about my paper being my popsicle being perfectly straight. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to make a straight line out to one side and a straight line out to the other. But I left some room on the side. I didn't want to go all the way out. Okay. All right. So that's the first part. So we have our, our line across the bottom. Now you draw nice and light. You do not have to draw as dark as I am. And then I'm going to curve it on the side and I'm gonna curve it on the side, okay? We have the first part of our popsicle. Let's go to the next step. I'm gonna go, not all the way up to the tippy top, okay? I'm gonna go, if this is my middle of my paper, if this is the middle, I'm gonna go up to about right here and I'm gonna make another dot right here. Okay, that's the, gonna be the top of my popsicle. And so what I wanna do is I'm gonna take my finger and I wanna kind of plan it out. So I'm gonna be going around and down. Let me show you what it looks like on here. So I'm gonna be going around and down. Got it? Let's do it with our pencil. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna go around and down. Now I'm not going to do the same on the other side because we're gonna make our popsicle look like somebody took a big bite out of it on a hot summer's day. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm gonna leave a little space over here and I'm gonna make my line down to connect on my popsicle so that we have room to add our bite. And our bite is gonna be a scalloped line. Scalloped is the word. And here's what it looks, it's kind of like if you're gonna make a cloud, you would use a scalloped line. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go 
I'm going to keep going until I get over and it looks like I have a bite taken out of my popsicle. We're also going to add some drippy drop sprinkles on it. And so I'm going to take mine and I'm going to make a wavy line all the way over on the side, which is kind of like a diagonal. I'm going to add a little line here and a little line here for just a little personality and depth. And then we need to add our popsicle stick. Let's add our popsicle stick. I'm going to start on each side of my dot in the middle and I'm going to go straight down and then back up for my popsicle stick. We're going to give our sweet popsicle a face and a personality. If you'd like to change it up, you can add a different set of eyeballs and mouth. It's really up to you. I'm going to do the same one that I showed you in my example today, and I'm going to go ahead and go with circles for eyeballs. Do the eyeballs have to be perfect? No, they don't. I am going to go with another circle on the inside for an eyeball and another circle on the inside for an eyeball. I'm going to add a smile. I'm going to add a tongue saying yum. And then I'm going to add our cute little cheeks over here. And if you want, you can add some an eyelash or two or three or four or five. And then I'm going to add one more little line, one more little circle in the middle. I am going to add a few little lines for the wood on the popsicle. And I'll outline those later. And there we have our popsicle. Now take some time, color your popsicle, whatever colors you want. It's really up to you. Teach someone how to make a popsicle when you're done.